However, um, what we're talking about here, the ecotourism, requires a good regulations. Um, otherwise, the ecotourism will not, will not bring in economic benefits, but they will bring in a lot of irresponsible visitors, cause more damage to the to the habitat. We we fund projects in, in, in Bali, in Indonesia. That's the um, there are very popular there is a very popular activities for ecotourism is to go out there to do the dolphin watch. As you can see, that's the fishermen over there. There, um, they, they they drive their boats very close and. At some point, that they will be irresponsible in chasing the dolphins, and then the cost damage will cause the influence, bad influence to the dolphins. So, what we're what we were supporting them is to do a survey, um, in term, to survey, uh, to interview the visitors, and also to talk to local people, in trying to organize and compile with the uh, recommendations for the for the local com community and also the government um, to write, to make effective recommendations for them to improve the ecotourism industry. Another project that we support in Sri Lanka is pretty more far away in the, in the Asian region. It's to support their local community to conserve the sea turtles. In Sri Lanka there are a few hot spots for the sea turtles to for them to lay eggs. And the local community actually there they're using the opportunities to uh, collect, I mean, before they collect the eggs for their own consumption or also for, for the seller. Uh, with the support from the local community, uh, local NGOs, uh, we were able to change some of this behavior. We recruit uh, and train the local community, uh, village people, and train them to be the uh, ecotourism tour guide, and train them to become the, uh, the protector of those sea turtles. So, all them Stealing eggs, they now become the protector. They do the observations, they do the survey on the uh, sea turtles, and then they can bring the, uh, the guests to do the observations to make more people to be aware of these uh, beautiful creatures, and then they are the great grand in Sri Lanka. All of that is the, uh, the habitat restoration. It's very important that we need to restore the habitat. Uh, I'm not sure whether you remember, uh, I believe that most of you would be able to remember there was a severe earthquake and, and tsunami happened two years ago in Asia. It caused a lot of damage. At that point, um, there are a lot of um, uh, comments and also by the scientists that without the um, severe or rapid human um, development of those hotels and resorts, these areas, some of those damaged areas, may still be protected by the mangroves. With the mangroves happy and intensive mangroves there, that's, they may be able to stop and minimize or reduce the damage from the tsunami impact to the local villages. So mangroves actually is a very important uh, natural barrier to protect the human from those uh, natural disasters. So, go back to the um, how diving ecotourism the impact to the, to, the, uh, to the habitat. Again, to be responsible. Uh, actually, I read a magazine yesterday that they uh, list out 10 members that the, the divers should be, or, or 10 things that the, the divers should be should, should pay attention to. And one of them is to, uh, to, um, to shape your diving skills. Um, so that's whenever you go down into the water, that's you are you prepare. You you have the equipment well prepared. You don't need to anchor yourself on the um, uh, at, uh, on the reef, coral reefs, and you don't need to. Uh, uh, and whenever the equipment is, don't need won't be able to hang around and damage the coral around. And be responsible with your behavior. Um, in time to time, that they will find it that people will find that it will be cool for driving um, a vehicle or uh, a pickup truck at the beach. Um, actually, this behavior will cause damage to the natural habitat. So try to avoid that. And again, also, when you go up there to see dolphins come across, try to come across with the natural habitat. Um, preserve, make a good distance to observe them. Um, take good photo, appreciate and do take. You don't need to. We don't need to disturb their natural behavior in the wild. 
And definitely, there are a few things that you can do. You want to buy them as souvenirs. Um, some of the local people that stay with the like to call reefs uh, is to make the souvenirs. And then, or to make the um, herbal medicine, traditional Chinese medicine. And so, trying to avoid that, not to use, buy those um, uh, souvenirs. And then definitely, if you want to join a yoga tourism, try go there or do your homework before you, you take off. Um, do a web search and see where those are the responsible ecotourism operator is very important. And one thing I think it's important to uh, for all the divers is whatever you bring into the to the habitat or to the, to the site, um, no matter if it's rubbish, everything you try to bring it back and dispose it in the hotel or in some other way that could be more responsible. And after all, I would like to encourage you to uh, to take some photos. As I said, I mean, everyone, all the divers I know that's there, they appreciate the nature. So actually, you can be part of them. You can be part of the, uh, the support of the conservation. Uh, how to do so is to take a photo. And then you can share those photos, those visual images with us, uh, not only us, but also the WF, uh, and also other local NGOs so that they can make use of those, the, those good photos to tell good conservation stories and share with the, with the public in Hong Kong. And um, here is our website and uh, email address. Uh, take it out. And the other thing that you can participate, um, some of you may have heard that the, um, there is a, a new program uh, by a, uh, a gentleman uh, that's they need to have a new method uh, for tracking the whale shark. Uh, he developed that, he find out that actually each whale shark has its own identity. Uh, right behind his gill, there is a different color a pattern. And if you take a photo, a good photo, and then you post it on the website, uh, the website software and also the operator there will be able to uh, try to do a matching. Uh, because each, each of the whale shark will have a different pattern and different color. So with this method, they can identify the individual, and then they can, with this identification, they can even track the the uh, behavior, the moving uh, migratory pattern of this whale shark. So um, um, this would be a good method to help to monitor the whale shark behavior and also their populations in the wild. And definitely, and including yourself and trying to share this message, spread this message around, not to eat shark fin. This is a very important thing, important message. Okay, after all this efforts, I just want to share, uh, uh, share with you what Ocean CFHA is about. Um, Ocean Park Conservation Foundation was established by Ocean Park in 1993. We are an individual charity organization and we aim to support and conserve the endangered wildlife in the Asian region. And uh, since then, we have funded two and over 200 scientific pro conservation projects from giant pandas, spinners, pop horse, seahorse, and horse scrap, all different animals. What we were trying to do is provide the seed money so the local scientists were able to use our funding support to pick up their projects, bring in more resources and attention. And out of that, we also try to. We also want to build the capacity, local capacity. We develop a university student sponsorship programs. We send the local students go out into the field to learn from the local scientists and also to acquire the first-hand experience from the field conservation methods. Um, so far, we have sent 111 students out there, and all of them were able to learn a lot and develop their lifetime experience and then they become our conservation ambassadors to help us to share the conservation message throughout the community. So, as you can see that you, when you go out there to enjoy your holiday, your eco trip in those hotspots, you can also be a supporter for the conservation. So, I'd like to um, invite you to visit the, uh, our uh, booth and also at Gil E11 uh, 117 and also 118. Um, definitely, that's you can learn more about how OPCMH came. And again, the responsible divers and also um, 
be supportive to the conservation efforts. Thank you.